Question 15. So we're being asked to find f of naught. So when we have uh, an x value of naught, what value do we actually get? Well, we get a value of 5. Now, for which values of k does f of x equal k have only one solution? So when would we only get uh, one solution arising? Well, if you we're now looking at the y values, and we can see between 5 and 13, we take any readings, we're going to get... Um, we're going to get one, two, three solutions, one, two, three solutions. But the second we get beyond 13, we're only going to get the one solution, these up here. And below 5, we're just going to get the one solution, these, these solutions here. So um, k is less than 5, and k or k is greater than 13. Now, for part C, find an estimate for the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals minus 2.5. So just by I, draw in a um, a tangent to the curve at minus 2.5 and just create a triangle and work out your Y step and your X step. I've got 15 over 2, giving me 7.5. There was leeway in the answer here. Anything between 7 and 8 would do. Now, part D and E, I think these are actually... Um, well, not easier, and still, still a tricky question, but you know these are doable. State which value of x must be excluded from any domain of g. Now, what we're saying here is what value of x will not give us a solution. Now, when you divide by naught, you do you you'll see on your calculator that you get um, uh, not possible, so you get you get maths error. So, how would we make this denominator naught? Well, x would have to be minus two. Now, for part, for part E, work your way uh, right to left, really. First of all, work out what g of minus 3 is. So substituting minus 3 into the g function, we get 1 over 2 plus minus 3, which is 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1. We then go and pop that into the f machine. Now, the f machine is what we've got on this graph. So when we pop minus 1 into the F machine, what reading do we get? We get a plus 9. Now that's a difficult question.